Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So, you see right here, I got a little upgrade. Got a little mic, a mic action. You know what's going on. So I'm kind of, kind of just testing it to see what's really going on right now. So you know what's up. You know what's up. It's Marcus on YouTube. You know what's up. Welcome back, fam. Testing it out to see if it is working. Um, I did get this from Timu, which is kind of funny as hell. But it come in this little case and. Yeah, so this is an extra mic. There's a piece that goes into my phone and then a piece that clips onto me, obviously. So I'm gonna run this back and see what it sounds like. Might keep this clip, might not. I'm ready to leave for the gym. Well, I did leave for the gym and then I was like, oh, I don't have my post-workout meal because I wanted to eat that and then go get groceries afterwards because I'm already up in that area for Sam's Club. And I was like, no, fuck it. I'll just get groceries tomorrow. I won't go back and get my pre-workout meal. And then I realized I forgot my headphones too. So I was like, ah. yep, guess we're going back. So we're pulling back in now and I'm gonna run up here and grab my stuff. I'll be back oh. into my apartment and grab my cereal, Captain Crunch, and then as I'm walking to my AirPods on the charger, it's a little light on them that's orange when they're charging. As I was approaching it, just turned green, so they had just finished charging fully. I was like, oh, what a sign. All right, guys. So first and foremost, I want to say that this mic does work. So. With that being said, you guys can hear me a lot more clearly whenever I drive my car, especially because all you hear is the road. So you can hear me talk now. We are on the way to the gym and we're going to go train back, back and biceps. I had just gotten a massage done this morning. Uh, my guy came over to my place at 10. He worked on me for two hours, so 10 to noon. Did some cupping, so you guys will see some markings on me today. Um, fresh ones, so they are very purple. About as purple as this shirt, maybe deeper. But yeah, really opened up my back today. My lats, my right lat was a little stuck, so got that all pancaked out. They're all gummy, so we are heading to the gym now to wreck this newly newly what should i say let me think for a second we're gonna wreck this new loop profound back i don't know even know what that means i'll see you when i get there all right all right guys we are getting into this workout here this is a pull workout so this is actually the second exercise that I've done. Um, I started on a pullover machine. So my plan calls for two sets of a pullover. So I do opt for a pin loaded kind of Dorian-esque uh, pullover machine. And then I do move into three sets of 10 to 12 with the single hand uh, pull downs here. I usually kind of um, switch between this or a hammer strength pull down. Um, hand supinated of course just to kind of contract best than the lat but you know there really is no difference in these two machines i just kind of pick whatever's open whatever kind of i'm feeling that day or for example this day i wanted to use this machine because i wanted to put a gym pin in there and just see you know how how strong i really could be and uh failing there of course but moving on so excuse my runny nose guys trying to do a voiceover for you guys, so don't pay me, no mind. <laughs> um, next exercise, third exercise in, is a cable low row targeting the lower lats. Um, as you can see, I'm really keeping my elbows low, um, shoulders locked down, and then just driving the elbow straight back. I'm also keeping my legs more straighter um, and towards the bottom of the platform that they are uh, resting on and then keeping my upper body elongated upwards and not collapsing at my hips um, or my rib cage to kind of pull more weight. So this makes it incredibly hard. This makes it all lats. 
Um, and really you should only be pulling with your fingertips and driving the elbows back as far as you can. Um, the goal is to get the handle to touch my belt, but I know that's not gonna be possible. So I failed there, but I got a huge pump in the lats and that's all that matters to me. So this exercise coming up, I'm supposed to do a Smith machine row, but the Smith that we have here just does not allow me to bend over this much. Um, and row because the bottom peg is a lot higher than you know full extension being able to go almost to the ground so i did opt for a barbell row here um not a lot of weight because as you can see my form is trying to be extremely aggressively perfect um more bent over than i normally am this exercise coming up these are kind of almost one and the same um, one being a spinal loading exercise and one taking the spinal loading out. Uh, so this exercise here, an arsenal T-bar row. This is a heavy ass machine. Anybody will tell you the nickname for this machine is the Humbler. So if you don't know what that means, I hope you give this a try. I hope you find this machine, find it in a gym local to you or across the country. I don't give a fuck and try to put 45s on both sides and row it like you would just row two plates on a regular t-bar row it is not going to fucking happen this machine this machine is incredibly heavy and you do gas out relatively quickly but the goal here was to have the foot platform low and target the upper back as you can see gnarly pump so I decided to take a few minutes out of my day and show you guys what we were looking like. The biceps were looking juicy and we didn't even train biceps yet. Please ignore, blah, 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 blah. Please ignore my awkwardness. I hate doing these voiceovers, but I thought it'd be a good change of pace for you guys. Um, here, you can kind of get a good view at the cupping marks that I recently got done. So right before this session, I had gotten a massage um, deep tissue, two hours, and some cupping. The one you do see on my bicep, um, had it on both sides, and that one helped tremendously with how my biceps were feeling and looking this day, um, along with having the cups on my back. But anyway, you're here for the workout and not my stupid body therapy. <laughs> um, wide grip lat pull downs, pulling with the Terry's, um, failing here, um, trying to really keep the form locked in, slight lean back. And don't sway with the weight. I'm so beautiful without you. Now my skin glows and it shines like glue. I'm pretty without you. Pretty without you. Pretty without you. Pretty without you. So we are back from the gym, and yeah, we're just about to eat my cereal now. I'm sitting down watching the podcast, and what I usually do uh, post-workout is I pull up the podcast to my phone, whether I'm home, I'm in the car or something. I always like to watch this when I'm eating, but right now I'm about to just make up the cereal. As I tell you for the thousandth time, goddamn. ASMR while I eat this cereal. Yeah. 
high. That's enough. Later.